This video is on biomolecules, it's part two, so we're specifically focusing on lipids. Fats and oils are lipids, that's very important to remember. So when you're thinking of lipids, you're thinking of fats and oils. Now look at the chemical composition. What are the elements in lipids? Well, lipids contain the elements carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Very similar, the same to carbohydrates, but there's no formula with lipids and there's no definite ratio of hydrogen to oxygen. There is very little oxygen in lipids and a lot of hydrogen. Fats are lipids that are solid at room temperature and oils are lipids that are liquid at room temperature. And those are two really important facts that appear very often in exam papers. What's the difference between fats and oils? So this is where you start writing your notes. This is the important material that you write down now and then put it into a table and make it easier to organise. So now we have to look at the composition or the structure of lipids. So the most basic unit of a fat is called a triglyceride and its structure is very important. The structure of a triglyceride is as follows. It's a glycerol molecule with three fatty acids bonded to it. And there are lots of different types of fatty acids and one triglyceride will differ from another based on the number and the combination of those fatty acids. So that diagram there is very important and it's asked quite a lot. Phospholipids are another type of lipid. They're very important because they are the main component or building block of cell membranes and also nuclear membranes, those membranes that surround the nucleus of cells. So really important in biology and for life. What is the structure of a phospholipid? Well, it has the glycerol, it has two fatty acids and instead of a third, it has a phosphate group. So it's that phosphate group which makes it the phospholipid. So really important that you can tell the difference between a phospholipid and a triglyceride. When you go on to study cells, you're going to encounter phospholipids drawn like this with a phosphate head and the fatty acid tails. And this is a phospholipid bilayer. This is the classic representation of how the phospholipids are arranged in a membrane. So one layer on top and the other layer on the bottom. What is the function of lipids? What is their role? Well, fats are a very efficient way of storing excess energy. So a means of storage, storage of energy. As well as that, in times of need, lipids are very energy rich and so can be broken down to release energy. So that's another. Lipids have an insulating role. So there's always a fat layer in animals that will help keep them warm to regulate their temperatures. Think of us. We all have our own fat layer or adipose tissue and also other animals. Lipids also have a protective role. They surround organs such as the kidney and they shield them from force. So in that way, they have a protective role. Next, we have to discuss a structural and a metabolic role for lipids. So a structural role of lipids is once again to do with those phospholipids because cell membranes are made up of those phospholipids. So that's the structural role, phospholipids in cell membranes and nuclear membranes. A metabolic role as well would be that fats can be broken down to release energy when they're needed. So that would be a metabolic role. Finally, let's compare lipids with carbohydrates. What's the same about them and what's different? It's a good exercise to do because it could come up in an exam question and it helps you retrieve the information you've learned previously on carbohydrates. So lipids contain the elements carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So do carbohydrates. But the basic unit of a lipid is a triglyceride whereas the most basic unit of a carbohydrate is a monosaccharide. Lipids do not have a formula and carbohydrates do have that formula that you must know and practice it. There is no definite ratio of hydrogen to oxygen in lipids, but there is a definite ratio in carbohydrates. It's two as to one. There's always twice as much hydrogen as there is oxygen. So that table is worth drawing and it's worth learning the content of. So what is the test for lipids? Well, there's two tests. You could either do the brown paper test or use chemicals, Sudan 3 test. That's a chemical test. And we always do the brown paper test. Rub your sample on the brown paper, leave it for a while. And if there is a permanent translucent stain, that is a positive test for lipid. So a permanent translucent stain means a positive result for lipid. And it has to be permanent and translucent. Those two terms written in your answer. So please note the following icons all from the noun project we're using in this video. I'm a pro member, but I want to credit the artists. So the very best of luck. Make sure you're learning this if you're in fifth year and hopefully this is helping you revise if you're in sixth year. Good luck.